What's up? Welcome back to G Live Game Night. My name is Leo, your host. If you haven't yet, do click subscribe tonight or today, whatever time you're watching this. We're talking about cooperative games. And to do that, joining me, of course, y'all know who it is. It's Willow. He wrote an article about uh, Among Us uh, and board games like it on the website, www.gaminglive.com. Do check it out. Um, but we have another video on that, so do check the channel uh, if you're a fan of that. Willow, how are It's all good. Uh, I've been trying to find the best games on board games. So far, yung kapatid ko pa lang. <laughs> and uh, trying digital board games ngayon, actually. At least uh, you have someone, right? Most people don't. Uh, joining us as well tonight is going to be Mika Fabella. She is a producer, courtside reporter, caster, and just all around awesome person. You may have seen her uh, from a commercial or two. Mika, how you doing? Oh wow, thanks so much for that intro, Leo. I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Uh, safe and dry, thankfully. Thank you so much, guys, for having me on today. Yep, uh, it's it's uh, an interesting topic. And uh, again, a lot of uh, us, especially in the newer generation, people who got into gaming 2015 or past 2015, actually started with cooperative games. And with that being said, I wanted to ask what your very first co-op game was because uh, I remember mine it was Pandemic uh, I think it was the second printing so the second printing came out sometime 2010 2011 this was the bla uh, the blue box the very first printing was a little more red which had less cool pieces uh, <laughs> and I remember seeing that version online but really Naruko was the blue box and that was my very first taste of co-op and that's relatively modern uh, but I gotta ask you now what was your first experience with co-op Mika let's start with you my first experience, I think, I, 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 I think, I don't know if this exactly entirely qualifies as co-op. Mm -hmm. In a way, it does. It was Betrayal on the House on the Hill, mm -hmm. which I really love. Like, but to an extent, I mean, at some point in the game, it's a co-op game. Like yeah. the first, I don't know, 15 minutes or yeah. so, depending on how you play it. Yeah. So that was my first. And the one that I really play a lot, um, of course, with, a, with, with you know, a, a group of friends that likes to repeat this board game over and over again, is Eldritch Horror. Mm. Eldritch Horror is something that I actually love playing a lot. And I would think that that is the one of the, parang, di ba, yung parang, it's it's one of the heavier yeah. uh, co-op board games. Yeah. yeah, it's it's I think the is that the fixed Arkham Horror? Parang it's the fixed Arkham Horror. Yes, 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 yes. It's the less messy yeah. Arkham Horror. It plays, <laughs> it plays like three to four hours, better worth it. But yeah, good catch on Betrayal and House on the Hill. Most people will say it's not co-op, but I I care to yeah I care to to argue because for most players. For the most of the game, it still is co-op. Parang isa or dalawa lang naman yata yung magbabago at some point. But yes, yeah, yes. noted. Both there horror. Are, <laughs> there are scenarios din that uh, nagko-continue lang na co-op. Totally co -op. Exactly. I was gonna say, di ba, not, not all scenarios, di ba, yeah. depending again on how the game plays out, involve yeah. you backstabbing your friends. Yeah. So I would still say it's a co-op game. Potential spoiler alert though, kasi baka mga iba hindi nila alam. They're always looking out for that haunt, but... Anyways, Will, how about you? What is your favorite? Uh, what was your first uh, co-op game? And then, what are your favorites? Yeah, the two actually the first co so I, I started the hobby at around 2013, 14. College pa. I, syempre, parang nag, I, I, naganda na agad ako dun sa hobby. So, I started buying board games. I bought two in particular that I really like. Yung Marvel Legendary, the Ooh. original one. And uh, Escape, Curse of the Temple, because I like uh, real-time games. Mm -hmm. um, from the two, I played Marvel Legendary uh, less, because 10 minutes lang yung Escape, Curse of the Temple. And it's a lot easier to teach. The uh, Marvel Legendary, though, uh, I played it, uh, siguro, ay isang session kami na we stayed up until like 4 a.m. just trying the combination of... Uh, right. Games. Uh, it's it's still I, I still have a copy actually. It's still mm. one of my favorite uh, co-op games. No, I, I totally is this the one agree. where you have a is this the one where you have a big bad and then you have different superheroes trying to defeat yeah. the other the big bad. Oh, okay, mm. I re I remember that game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, totally uh, see how that's possible, Will. Because I'm I'm on the other side of the fence, right? You Marvel Legendary till 4 a.m. I'm DC deck builder till 4 a.m. Yeah. It's the red box. <laughs> and, it's so dumb because at least in Legendary, there are scenarios. This DC deck, 
Okay, I win. Shuffle up. Let's do it again. There's no new experience. It's just the same thing. But uh, nevertheless, uh, I think it's fair to say na mas malinarumo yung escape because it is again 10 minutes and legendary has a lot of setup. But that's neither here nor there. I have a problem with that game. But you all know that anyways. Um, so yeah, uh, recently, uh, literally like a weekend ago from this recording, I was actually playing uh, Spirit Island. Um, with the lady and um, super lover for that by the way that game is heavy that game is heavy af and inaral namin tas linro namin that same night and we got it so I'm like huh, uh, that's not so bad after all pero sumakit yung ulo after so that's yeah. one that, big co-op game that I like yes Willow the, the thing about Spirit Island the components actually help you with uh learning you may mga cues dun sa component say like when you're defeating yung building you Bil- can actually turn yes. over the ba parang yes. 3 to 2 to yes. 1 points yeah. it's, a, it's a smart game yeah, is this a... related to forbidden island no, no. Some... not at all no. they're both island games though but okay. <laughs> <laughs> the difference is spirit island is actually uh, a heavy game it's super heavy like the box is just a chunk and the story of that game is you are like the spirits of like this Polynesian island. So you're like the earth or the lightning oh. or, or the water, right? So, I'm so sold na. May Moana yeah. dream. Exactly. Like, that's what the art looks like. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to chase away these invaders. Invaders. Who apparently are just European uh, oh my God. expeditionists. Yeah, they are fighting off colonialism. <laughs> yes, exactly <laughs> that. And then, a uh, partner, like you're working with the uh, the island natives. The, the, the Hak? Dahan? Yeah, the Dahan. And then they're like little huts. So essentially, you're like going on the map and then you're you're, you're defending from these ex- uh, these uh, expeditioners and and then they're like messing up the island. They're leaving blights and like waste and stuff. So, I don't know. The game is pushing some sort of uh, story and narrative and I kind of like that. But what, what, what I felt was missing from it um, was more of the I'll help you do this kind of uh, mechanic. And this is a mechanic I've seen in as a game as simple as Pandemic. If you guys will remember, in Pandemic, when you meet up with someone in a, anything, like whether it's a city, a state, or whatever kind of Pandemic you're playing, um, you can hand them cards. In Spirit Island, I don't think there's much of a mechanic wherein, here, let me do this for you or with you. I think meron, but they're like specific actions. They're not part of your basic one, two, three, four. They're like, oh, I have a power here that I can help you out with, but it's not like something I can do all the time. So I think that's something I miss uh, in co-ops. And if you're able to do that, like you can do it in games like um, Dead of Winter, wherein, oh, you need this. Let me help you with that. Or we're all trying to do this one thing on the board. Let's go together. Let's do that. I didn't feel that much in Spirit Island, so that's something I was looking for. That's my next question. For you guys, I yeah. Think in Spirit Island, more of an depends on spirit combination that you guys use. Yeah. Uh, may I think that's the water spirit that helps out. Pag katabi niya yung other spirits mm-hmm. battling against mm-hmm. other people. But yeah. I, I get I get it, uh, missing shot for you, the spirit. Mm-hmm. Island. I, mm-hmm. I get that of yeah. It's I... more of. Uh, I get this area, you get this area, I go na bahala, and let's yeah. work with which, yeah. which, which makes thematic sense, right? Because most spirits, you don't see them working together like the Avengers. Because if that happens, that's apocalypse. Like, it's <laughs> over. Like, when you see that in a movie, like, never mind, we're done. So, I guess it's balancing. Ikaw, Mika, what's something that you enjoy in a co-op uh, game? Like, thematically speaking or mechanically speaking? Like, what's something you really enjoy when you see it? Oh yes, I, I I love I love that part, the sort of like shared resources, and I and I love, you know, when you when you have a co-op game, it's nice to it's nice to be able to work together. Of course, that's the that's the purpose of a co-op game. So, for example, like when 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 the group that I play with my friends and we play Eldritch Horror, what we like doing is you know when when we're down to like the last few um, rounds, that was the the doomsday clock is ticking down. We play it a bit like a chess game already, and then and then you know we have these scenarios, and we're like gonna okay, let's rehearse. If we do this, <laughs> will this work? Tapos hindi pala. Oh, erase, 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 erase. And so that when you said that Eldritch Horror takes three to four hours with us, it takes about six to eight hours. So we really set aside a whole 
day, a whole day for it, you know, potluck and everything. And I really think that that you know, um, we we've been wanting to play online, but I think it's that because yung parang you, you can't replace that mm-hmm. you know in person connection, all of those little you know things that happen. Yeah. You you have an online board, sure, but the ba yung parang that that those those in person interactions mm-hmm. those in person decisions that you get to make without second guessing yourself especially when it's with friends yep. those are the things that you know you, that that you really miss and i was actually going to ask you guys uh, have you tried playing um not not to take the lead from you leo but i was actually just really curious uh, if uh, have you tried playing co-op games online and parang how how is the dynamic cuz like we have it because we're hesitant to do that yeah eh. yeah no ako personally uh, the only board games I've played online are competitive, right? I played Scythe, uh, I have uh, deck builders like Ascension, Shards of Infinity. These games that are like counting up points against each other. Very rarely are like are, are, are my playing board games online or digitally. That's like, let us help each other. Because I have yeah. other games like that. I have games like... Um, Wild Drift. Like, you have games <laughs> where you're like in actual teams going up against other people. So technically, isn't that co-op? So again, it's weird, but I still like to draw lines. Very rarely will I play a digital board game when I can play it physically. And Siguro, I just haven't gotten to the co-op part. But I don't know. Will Account, feeling you have it. I, I've played Pandemic Online. I bought it to Steam. Cafe. Nice. Uh, what's, what's that like? It's a different... Experience. Yun na lang yung masasabi ko. Kasi, uh, for, pag yung, ikaw yung may app kasi, what I do is I Discord or Zoom share screen tapos ako yung nagpa-control for them. I eh, for me, parang feeling ko, ako, ako na lang din yung naglalaro. Mm-hmm. It, it, it tends to give more power for you to, to do the backseat gaming thing. Na parang, mm-hmm. oh, I think ito yung mas maganda. So I think for digital board na co-op, actually, I think mas maganda siya ng solo. Mm-hmm. I would say. Yeah. Solo experience. Yeah, so. I think what digital gives us is like again, the ease of setup and cleanup. So, for example, talo kayo or you just want to do again like how Mika is like, how about we re- no, actually no. That's what's missing is yes, you have the ease of setup and the cleanup, but you can't do rehearsals. You can't yeah. do like yeah. I'll try this, try this, hindi gumana. Let's go back to steps. So, um yeah, I guess that's that's why I haven't either. Uh Mika, I'm sure I think you said you haven't, no. You're very hesitant, because it's like yeah, yeah. And, and 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 the thing with the the thing with our peculiar bunch of friends is, because theater actors, we really like role playing our mm-hmm. characters. Mm-hmm. Like for example, there was one instance in Dead of Winter, na parang I was I forgot which one I was. That was that was like, um. I, I had to I had to like prevent like the zombies from getting in and then and then I was like but no I've seen so much uh, no I've seen so much devastation you know what I'm gonna kill you guys you guys don't deserve to live <laughs> you know so you have things like that that you know if, if in case your your group is kind of weird like us and we like to you know really make the experience uh fully customized to how we we play those are mm-hmm. things that, that that can't really translate yeah. online I, at right now yung parang, um I, I kaya we're a little hesitant to try yeah. out the, no, the yeah. co-op online yeah Same. And again it might kind of sully the actual experience you might just feel bad about it overall it's like i sayang this is totally nothing like what we used to do why do you even bother? But now you talked about Dead of Winter, and that now brings me to another question: Is how do you like your difficulty in your co-ops? Spirit Island, I played the intro game. Uh, we we won immediately. I'm like, oh, fear level three. I guess we win. So that's the intro c- scenario, obviously. But games like Dead of Winter, sometimes no mercy. First game, niyo, we don't care. You lose. So I was gonna wonder, like, how do you like your difficulty? Are you happy whenever you lose? Let's do it again. Or does that discourage you? And you're like, yo, why did I pay for this game? We wasted three hours of our life. What's that like for you, Willow? Uh, for me, I, I like I like challenges because uh, yung mind ko kasi I, I tend to uh, even in competitive games or co-op games, kasi I tend to try to break the game. I think that's how me and Mister Store uh, actually. That's how we play our games. Because we, we we like to break games. Tapos parang makikita nyo na lang na, oh, sa high score, pwede pala ganun kataas yung score. Or Cerebral. pwede pala we can win in yeah. two turns. So I like 
my games really difficult. Mm-hmm. Uh, pag masyado madali. Well, it depends also kung sino yung kalaro. Pag may kalaro ako na newbie or hindi masyado into the board game scene, uh, I just do like medium or like really easy para ma-enjoy lang nila experience. Pero when it's just me and I, I play, kunyari, we play sa G-Live, uh, we tend to do the hard ones kasi we, we want talaga na parang we, we show our brain power in the right, game. Right, right. <laughs> Mananong tayo mga tao, diba? That's, yeah. that's how I like. No, and, and that's yeah. what you enjoy. No, that's what you enjoy. So you do what you want. Uh, how about you, Mika? What's, what's your difficulty uh, threshold like? I think it depends on parang the amount of time that you invest into setting up the board game. Because like for example, if it's something like Eldritch, mm-hmm. um, although Eldritch like you can cycle through the Elder Gods, diba? So parang okay, we 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 did Cthulhu na iba naman ngayon. Let's just get the ano si Shogorath or something. Um, but it I feel like pag Eldritch, you can't ex- um if we put it up to the highest difficulty that mm-hmm. we can. Parang maiinis lang kami, and we're just gonna be like, oh, this isn't fun anymore. And uh, you know, um, so I, I like mine not a little bit of a doable. And I agree with Willow. It depends on you know the people that you're with. If they do like that challenge and if they really will commit to it, then G. But if you know you're just hey, hey chilling oh, with friends and everything, and you might not be up to facing. Sino ba yung mina mahirap si Azaroth? I think or uh, the, Azathoth, uh, maybe. Azathoth, Azathoth, Azathoth uh-huh. is from Wow. <laughs> but um, Azathoth, yes. Yeah, so so parang it, it depends on how we feel usually at that mm-hmm. time. There are some times when we then we're like, oh, let, let's let's try the hardest. Tara guys, let's go. Yeah. Um but uh but yeah, if it's if it's a shorter game. Like I remember playing you know, I we brought it up kanina Forbidden Island. Yeah. And um when whenever we would lose, we'd actually just get frustrated and stressed. Now we would want to play it again. No, 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 again. 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 Yeah. <laughs> and because it's so stressful, mm-hmm. diba? Yung parang your island is sinking mm-hmm. or covered with sand or whatnot. Yeah. yeah. Flip it over. I said flip it over right now. Do it again. <laughs> But uh oh, I, I fall somewhere in the middle. Sometimes I play games and I'm like, why don't we just go the highest difficulty let's see what happens and i immediately lose i just laugh about it They're like ha, let's not do that let's go back to normal or easy even but uh in most games i play uh i'm not a fan of like punishing myself uh even video games i'm like why did i pay for something that's gonna stress me out but i understand that some people like that some people like brain burners some people like uh miserable uh, misery simulators Uh, like a game called This War of Mine. I don't know why, but there was this weird stretch of my life na parang, I wanna buy This War of Mine on Steam, the complete edition, and I want it in board game form. I did, and I regretted it. Because it, again, it is a misery simulator. So I'm like, ang lungkot naman ito, ang ginagawa ko dito. So, in general, my, 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 like, my sweet spot would be a game that has some give. A game na parang, oops! I missed a move or two. I can repair that with the help of my teammates, and then we can yes, still eventually win. But yes, I want to wonder. Uh, I'm wondering what you guys are thinking right now. Watching, what is your sweet spot for difficulty? You want super difficult, para challenging, and you can like try to solve it, or you want it easy, so that you can like house rule your difficulties and again add maybe a few things, remove a few things that make it easier. Uh, but yeah, just to round out this discussion, I was gonna ask you guys. Uh, let's start with Willow. Do you have like a cooperative game wish list, whether it be a theme or a mechanic that you wish to see in like the next big co-op game that's gonna be coming out? Uh, I'm not sure if Marvel United checks everything that you want. Alam kong kinuwa mo yun eh. It's on the way. But uh, do you want to share something with us, like within this co-op wish list? Uh, actually, my wish list ko ay actually is Project Lead. Uh, mm. I really like real-time co-op games, kasi. Right, right. Uh, I don't know why, pero kasi since I played sports, parang for me, par um, dexterity, rolling dice, na mabilis, mm-hmm. timed games like that. Uh, me and my brothers really tend to like those type of games. Na parang may mga buzzer beater ka na roll, tapos oh yun na yun na, tapos mananalo ka yun. Right. That's the feeling I, I I really like. Kaya I think Project Elite with yung Five minute time, tapos planning phase, and five minute time. But then I think that's a perfect game for me. Yeah. Pero yun kasi uh, it's expensive 
for the type of game it is. Yeah. Yun, yun, yun talaga, yun, ano, That's what I was thinking. You're, it's literally just this. I don't want to say dumb game, but it's a dice game essentially that you're paying six, <laughs> five thousand, six thousand pesos for. But I was gonna wonder if money was. I was wondering if money was not an object. No, you can have that real-time experience. Not a theme by your Project Elite. Is that something that makes it for you? Mm-hmm. You can make Actually, your perfect okay game. Lang. Make the ultimate game. Okay, okay lang naman sa akin yan. Oh, if if gagawa ko ng ultimate game, mm-hmm. gagawa ko ng basketball team na five on five. Tapos we get our own players. Tapos that's the one. It doesn't exist. Willow, it doesn't exist. Where is the basketball board game? There's one coming out, pero competitive show. So. And it's 3v3. It's 3v3, and then it's yeah. like action. I've, I've seen that. Yeah, it's a Kickstarter. Pero, I, where is it? Where is that? Yeah. It's so weird. I, I, would, I, would, I would like to have a board game na parang you're really playing basketball. Uh, I don't know, real time co op. Real time, yeah. AI yung kalaban. Yon, oh, oh. Alam ko na. I got it. I figured it out, dude. It's Space Jam. And then you're the Looney Tunes. <laughs> oh my god, I would love that. Superpowers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you fight the monsters. Stretch, no? Yeah, oh, you, you play the monsters and then you're like, okay, where's where's uh, where's uh, where's Jordan? Get on. So that's that's uh that's that's my idea. I that's I mean, I jacked your idea. But essentially, an a, a co-op basketball uh, game na may real time aspect. Yeah. Okay, nice. How about you, Mika? Let's let's make your ultimate co op game wish list. Like, what does it look like? You know what I would love? Something to the effect of this is like asking a lot because this is like IP hell, but mm-hmm. something to the effect of like a Ready Player One, mm-hmm. but for a board game. So like you could you could pull elements from other board games mm-hmm. and then put it into your own or like you know something like. Kind of like a Disney Infinity thing where mm. you have to collect different pieces mm-hmm. and then they come out and then you can add them to that board game. Mm-hmm. So like if you wanted, you know, this element over here and you think that this character would work well here, then you know, you can get that and put them in here. And there's a way to connect something. I mean, I feel like that would be fun. Cause like there were so many times when, for example, like sa, sa Eldritch or something, I'd be like, Baba ng sanity ko kayang kaya to ni Zoe from Betrayal, ang taas ng sanity ng bato na yan eh. Right. So you, you know, like <laughs> Some, some, something like that, something like that. Or like, mm-hmm. you know, I can't, can't, I get, can't, I get something from here. So something, I, it, it's, it's asking a lot, yeah, because it's a, uh, it's IP hell. But if there's a way to sort of like have like that nice crossover, I yeah. mean, if we do it for you know games, if we do it for movies, why not have it for tabletop? Someday, yeah, someday. yeah. It, it could cost quite a bit, but it's out there, uh, and that's why I'm asking now. Like, it's, it's your wish list. You can do whatever you want. Uh, but if I would have like uh, a dream co-op game, it would definitely be something with miniatures. Um, it would be something that plays under an hour. Uh, it would be uh, hmm, anong theme? I don't know if my th- if I want my theme to be bleak or if I want it to be light. Okay, oh, got it. It's a light game. It's it's overcooked the board game. There it is. I just want an overcooked <laughs> the board game. Tapos may miniatures. Now with like a little patty, a little sushi, a little pan. Yeah, my, my little, uh, no, yeah, I have to, you know, um, give the little steaks. Yes. Give the little, uh, no. And then it's 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 dice powered, but it's not real time. It should real time. Eh. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, not... you, could like, you could like roll the dice and then you fire. Oh, you have five moves. You have yes, five moves. Yes, yes, there okay, you I'll, go. I'll, I'll get, I'll get yes. the cabbage, I'll get yeah. the salmon, and there then I'll go. chop. There <laughs> you go, yes. And my last wish is... It would be designed by Eric Lang. You know lang. <laughs> All right. So uh, it's the Eric Lang for of game. Oh, that's 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 my idea. All right. So that's my wish list. How about you guys? What is your dream co-op game? Let us know in the comments. It can be any IP, any mechanic, any game designer. If you're like a favorite game designer, and uh, let us know. Okay. We'll talk about it. We'll check it out. Uh, once more, this is our little take on um, cooperative games. Uh, hopefully, you have been triggered to try out cooperative games and you know on our behalf like try it out digitally and you can share your ideas with us how to make it more fun all right on behalf of miga willow and the rest of the g live fam thank you for watching click subscribe if you haven't yet and have a great day